Well, one of the uh, stories in this fascicle of Dogen, this uh, essay that we're studying, this session, is a story about two Zen practitioners. And one asks the other, how can you grasp space? Or do you know how to grasp space? And the other says, yes, I do. And, well, how do you grasp space? And he goes like this. pinching the air. And uh, the other says, no, you don't know how to grasp space. And so he asks, well, how do you grasp space? And the other practitioner reaches out and grasps the other's nostrils and yanks his nose. And uh, that, that Zen person says, ouch, you're you're killing me, you're pulling off my nose. And uh, the nose puller says, that's how to grasp space. So this is a story um, in the fun old Zen style of stories about grasping space or how to actually get space. That space is not just empty, empty nothingness. It's uh, everything that can be held is actually space too, because emptiness itself is form. Form itself is emptiness. Uh, so there's non-difference between these two of space and noses is uh, being pointed out in this story and in this whole essay of Dogen. There's always a big spacious mind or awareness that's holding all our experience and uh, thoughts and emotions and experiences are happening in the foreground of Zazen and they tend to capture our attention because they're the dominant uh, experience. But uh, right in the midst of that thought or emotion or experience, we can just step back a little bit and um, open the awareness to that larger space that's all around the experience that's always there but often ignored. So when we sit down for zazen, uh, we can open into the spaciousness that is actually always um, permeating our experience and relax into that. <laughs>